Welcome to the example. My name is Davin. In this video, me and my friend Micah visit the historic campus of Tuskegee University. Here we gain insight on our next generation's understanding of objective and subjective morality. How do you determine what is right and wrong in your life? In my life? Yeah. I mean, I guess with my moral conscience. Okay. All right. How about you? Um, it was my upbringing. My upbringing. The upbringing. So, yeah. So what my parents taught me what was right from wrong, and what I learned in church. Okay. All right. All right. So the next question is like you know some Christians um, and some other religions have you know standards. So for example, you know for Christians, God has a moral standard that's in the Bible, and they have something like the, you know Ten Commandments. Remember that? Okay. Uh, do you think? The Ten Commandments are a good moral standard for people to follow. Um, I think they are good standards that you follow, but I mean, some people would just have like different morals or different standards. I guess you could say to fit them mm -hmm. in a way. Okay. All right. What about you? You think like the Ten Commandments is okay? Yeah. It's a good I, moral standard. I 100 100 percent agree with the Ten okay. Commandments. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. And um, has uh, let's say Christians. You know, following Ten Commandments, anything like that. Any Christian morality has has that affected you? Can you answer or give me? Can you like about explain? It? For example, if uh, let me see if I can explain it a little bit better. Uh, let's say if they haven't lived up to the moral standard. I'm a Christian. I follow Ten Commandments, the Bible, and I'm just a hypocrite. How is that affect you? So you're saying like. If I'm over here, I'm at college, you know, I say, oh, Jesus, 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 but, you know, I'm going to club. But you, okay, okay. Sleeping you. around. How know? does that affect me? Yeah, does that, I mean, me, you know, imposing my morals on you, how does that affect you? I mean, I feel that I could do, like, what you do doesn't really affect me. Okay. I, you know, I mean, obviously, I'm a, I might notice it, mm -hmm. but personally, I just um, do, do what I have to do, like, based off of what I believe, because what you... What you um, try to impose onto me, I still have to interpret it my own way. Okay. I, I got a follow up on that if oh. you don't mind. Um, how does that um, that person's behavior make you feel about Christianity? Well, I mean, it doesn't necessarily make me feel about Christianity and as a whole. It just makes me feel like um, some people who are part of Christianity just maybe not getting the job done. They can do better. But it's not. It doesn't change my opinion about Christianity as a whole. Got it. Thank you. Yeah, it doesn't really change my opinion. It's just it's what they decided to do. Really, uh, yeah. Okay. Do you okay. think? All right. I got one more. Do you think morality is objective or subjective? In terms, of, are there just universal truths I mean, in the universe, or is everything just subjective? Subjective. What you think is right. What I think is right. Well, I mean. With everybody thinks what they think is right or wrong, but mm. there are just, I mean, personally, I believe there's something that if you don't think it's right, I mean, you just have your morals are just messed up. That's personally, <laughs> that's some but, but you think there are some things that are right, yeah, some things that some are things wrong, that, independent of how someone thinks about it. Yeah, I mean, like some, some things are just right or wrong. Like, no, if you think differently, kind of something wrong with you. Um, okay. like, so let me let me ask this other question. So if there are some things that are right or wrong, how how do we ground those things? How do we determine what those things are? Well, I mean, you're saying because everybody, some people feel differently about different things. So, okay. So, um, I guess you really can't because people are gonna. So I meet somebody that disagrees, but um, that's a good question. Okay, what about you? Um, people is just different. So people brought up different, people believe in different things. So what one person think is right might be what another person think is wrong. So. Like, that just goes back to like, um, how we're doing with um, police brutality. Like, they think they're doing, or the police think they're doing nothing wrong, but, I mean, everybody else know, or I don't want to say everybody else. A lot of people know that what they're doing is wrong, but like as you say, 
Like, how would you know what is really right or wrong? I mean, you, just believe, you have to believe what you believe and fight for what you believe in. So there's no way to know whether something is actually right. It's out there, but you're saying there's no way to know. Yeah, pretty much. Not really. You just have to believe what you believe in. Okay. You feel the same way? Um, yeah. Yeah, I believe. It's just the system that we in, how we was brought up, and then where we live right now, how uh, even the government that we under, their moral system, or what they believe is what's right and wrong, too. So a cultural yeah. type of morality versus, a, I guess, an objective, you know, yeah. universal truths mm -hmm. that are somewhere up here defined by something. Because, um, you know, Hitler, mm -hmm. they had their cultural moral truths. Yeah, they, they believed in it. Yeah, and then, you know, just, uh, what, about 50 years ago, was slavery. Mm -hmm. You know, and America believed in that. We can, we wouldn't have been out here. We've been right. sleeping somewhere, and we can even uh, drink from the same water fountain other people. So, but I mean, yeah. so, hopefully, my hope is that over time, people, the number, I mean, at least with what I believe in, I hope um, that number rises. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, it's good to, If there's no way to know whether something's right or wrong, how do you know that you're right? Because about I, what's right and wrong. How do I know that I'm right? Because mm. I follow my moral standards. That's okay. I mean. So your moral standards is what determines what's right or wrong. For me. For you. Yeah. So that means it's possible for something to be right for you, but wrong for somebody else. Totally possible. Okay, so it's, it's okay. For example, let's bring it a real situation. Right. So we're sitting here hanging out, mm. right? And if I had a gun in my hand, okay. you, just sitting, you, you just sitting there chilling. <laughs> no, you just chilling. Right. You ain't do nothing wrong. Yeah. It, it's possible, it's possible for me to be wrong to shoot you, but it's possible for him to be right to shoot you. It's possible for him to be right? Yeah. I mean, I believe it may be right in his eyes. My eyes, I'm, hey, I'm suing something. Somebody can see you. But do you realize what you're That's saying my last here? Will. <laughs> yeah. But do you realize yeah. what you're saying here? Saying. That there is, there really, basically what you're saying, there is no real right or wrong. I mean, I believe there's a right or wrong. I, I believe there's. I just believe that some people don't believe there's a right or wrong. Some people okay. don't know the difference. That's true. That's what it is. Do you define mm -hmm. yourself as a Christian? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you think that the Bible and God is that you believe that to be your moral standard? Yes, I, I add. I mean, that is my overall moral standard. Okay. But then I just have my own moral standards I try to live by every day. You know. Okay. So that's your. You know, that, if it if it's above God's standards, that's where you said they morality just messed up. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. the that's your draw. That's the draw line. This point. is like that's the top. Like, <laughs> okay. <just> up there. <laughs> okay. 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 Cool. What about you? Yeah. I mean, where's the draw line? Is it is Christianity to you your yeah. your draw line right there? Yeah. Okay. One more question on that. No. Um, is there any case where that's wrong to look at God's standard as? The highest standard. Is there a case where that's wrong? There could be a case because some people, you know, okay, take um, how they say um, be absent isn't absent before um, married, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, some people just I don't look down on them if they, you know, have sex before they're married. It just what they just goes back to their moral conscience. You know? They feel that they can still be a Christian even though they decide to, you know, live outside the overall um, rules that are set. But I mean, like I said, they, so they have on the right or wrong. Well, let's go to, what, what were you gonna say, your thoughts? Oh, I just feel like, it just goes back to everybody's different. It's just, everybody's brought up different. So, like you said, what one person think is right, another person might think is wrong. So, I don't think that we, it'll ever be we had, never, nobody will ever be on the same page because everybody believes in different things and everybody thinks different. Okay. Okay, cool, man. Hey. Thank y'all for your time. Hey, we appreciate it. it. Thanks for your